What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're back with another tutorial. This one is a little bit special. We have a Fortnite banner and a Fortnite header. So again, as always, I will show you guys how to make both of them with free templates for free in Pixlr so you guys don't have to go to Adobe and download Photoshop or pay for a Photoshop subscription or anything like that. Pixlr is a completely free website that you guys can just go to and make these for yourselves. Now before we get too far into today's video, if you guys could go down there and hit a like button and just show me that this is a type of videos that you guys like and that you guys want to see more of. Um, I put a lot of work into the templates and I really do kind of want to provide more for you guys. As you guys can see, I am doing a banner and a header. So I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys, you know, find some use in this as well. Also, if you guys can hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell too. It really, really helps me out more than you guys know. Um, helps keep me motivated to keep pushing out these videos for you guys and keep making really cool templates for you as well. So yeah, with that being said, I will go ahead and just briefly go over some of these stuff that you need um, to download and kind of how to do that so you guys can be ready for the tutorial. Um, but if you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys have watched a bunch of the tutorials already. Um, there will be timestamps throughout the video so you guys can skip ahead to whatever part that you may need help on. Also, I have a bunch of anime tutorials already out. So if there's something you guys are looking for, I'll leave a playlist in the description with all of my anime Pixlr tutorials. I've done one for Jujutsu Kaisen. I've done one for Hunter x Hunter, a bunch of the characters. I've done Tanjiro, Demon Slayer. So before you guys ask in the comment section i'll make sure to go ahead and just scroll through i've been doing a bunch of them recently and as far as you know other type of games i will do lots of other tutorials as you guys can see i'm still doing fortnite i want to bring those back and i do have valorant planned as well i see you guys comment about that a lot and then i'm thinking about doing some call of duty ones as well because i see those comments as well so i do see you guys all down there requesting stuff i appreciate you guys you know requesting stuff because it gives me lots of ideas to you know do future tutorials on so i appreciate it guys and yeah with that being said let's go ahead and just jump into today's video. Alright, so very first thing here, if you guys are new, um, you're just going to want to go to the top link in the description of this video. Um, it's just going to be a simple Google Drive link and in there, you guys are going to find this folder right here. As you can see, I just downloaded it to my desktop. Recommend you guys just do that right away. Just download everything there so you have it. Um, but once you double click it, you guys are going to see in there, you have a couple things. Now for a YouTube banner, if you guys are familiar with it, you guys are gonna need this template here as well. And that kind of matches up with this one right here. And then for the Twitter header, you guys are gonna have it right here. Then you have the font and the render. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial instantly because I have a banner and a header to show you guys. I don't wanna waste your guys' time at all. So first thing you guys are obviously gonna do here is just go to Pixlr. I will leave a link in the description if you guys don't wanna type it in yourselves. And then all we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to open image and I will show you guys how to do the the YouTube banner first because I think that's probably what you guys are probably here for and then I'm gonna go ahead and just click YouTube banner template and it should kind of automatically load for you now as you guys can see we got this here we're just gonna go ahead and get the template that I provided for you guys for free in here so we're just gonna hit layer and we're gonna hit add image as layer up here on the left and then we're just gonna double click on the Fortnite butterfly YouTube banner we want to make sure we're clicking on the YouTube one so that it fits and if you go ahead and double click it, as you guys can see, I made it fit perfectly. So once you have it in here, you do not have to move it whatsoever. What I'm actually just gonna do is I'm going to right click on the layer on this right side, and I'm gonna actually click lock just so we don't happen to move it at all because it is essential that we do not wanna move this template whatsoever. Now, the very first thing we're also gonna do here, as we always do, is we're gonna go to layer on the top, we're gonna go to add image as layer, and we're gonna double click on the render right here, and it is transparent so you guys can see it goes right in there, there's no white background now what we also need to do is make sure that the render shows up on the top or above it as you guys can see here it shows up underneath so we're just going to go ahead and grab this we're going to hold it and i'm going to drag it above the, the template you guys can see here so it kind of does just stack you know top is you know the uppermost layer and it kind of just goes um you know in sequential order um underneath that so once we have it on top i'm going to drag it a little bit to the side so i can drag it down and then we're just going to kind of put it off to the left here because if you guys saw in the thumbnail, we had the text um, sort of on this right side here. So we definitely want to make sure there's room for that. Um, so I'm just going to drag it down and I'm actually going to kind of put it by these butterflies here because I think it looks really, really cool. And then I'm just going to make sure it kind of sizes perfectly here. And I think that actually looks just about perfect. Um, we've got it in front of a couple of the butterflies. So I think it looks really, really cool and gives it a cool touch. 
We also just want to make sure it's big enough so that it's covering the whole thing. Um, it is totally fine if it sticks out above a little bit, um, just because you're not going to see, you know, the gray area above and below. So it is totally fine again if it just sticks out a little bit. Now we have our render in here. I now I always do this. I go, I click on the render on the right side here. I go to adjustment on the top and I go to brightness and contrast. I give it a little bit of contrast to make those colors a little bit darker and uh, more vibrant. Then I'll give it a little bit of brightness as well to make it pop a little bit, probably around 25 to 30 for the brightness there, about 20 for the contrast. I'll go ahead and click apply on the right side here. And then as you guys can see, I got my render in here already. It's looking pretty good so far. Um, now let's go ahead and focus on the text. So if you go and look at the official banner that I made here that you guys probably saw in the thumbnail, um, you're going to see that I have like, you know, your name here. So I'll show you guys kind of how to do your own thing and then, you know, put whatever you want here. So let's go ahead and focus on that. So we're going to go back to Pixlr here. I'm going to go to the font tool on the bottom left side over here. I'm going to go to add text. And as you guys can see, I actually already have a couple of the fonts in here. All right, so we've got our font. I'll make sure to go ahead and again, list this one in the pack. I don't know if this is the exact same font that I use in the thumbnail, but it's extremely, extremely similar. Um, I was having a bit of troubles with the other one getting it in. So we're just gonna make sure we're clicked on this. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and double click and it should kind of load it up in the preview here. And then we're just gonna type in, um, actually I might just do ice. I might do my name here. And then we're just gonna do ice here. And then I'm going to click the move tool over here and I'm going to drag it. Oh, we don't want to do that. Um, I might just right click on the render and lock it real quick so we don't end up moving that. Um, as you can see, it never kind of puts the layer all the way on the top for whatever reason. So I'm going to drag the text layer up to the top here and then um, I'm double click it. Uh, we don't want the color red. It always defaults to a different color. I do not know why. So we're going to do black kind of like how we had in the thumbnail here. Um, and then, you know, I guess it's just not going to change here for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know why it messes with it, but we're gonna go to fill here and we're gonna go fill and then we're gonna go to black. And as you can see, that finally changes it. Um, this is gonna be a bit smaller. So we're kind of just gonna have this right here, um, probably up there a little bit. And then we're gonna focus on the text on the bottom. So I'm gonna make sure again, I'm selected on the text tool here. I'm gonna click wherever, I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna do kicks. And I'm gonna go to here, I'm gonna go to size. I'm gonna drag this up a bit here. And of course this one is below as well. So I'm gonna drag it all the way to the top here. And then that actually looks pretty good. Um, now again, um, I kind of want it to be a bit smaller just because you guys see, you know, desktop minimum and mobile line is right here. So we kind of want it to be a little bit farther in here. So I'm gonna go to size and I'm gonna maybe type in like 160. Maybe that looks just a bit better here. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit perfect. And I'm gonna make the ice just a bit smaller here. So I think that looks a bit better. And then I'm actually just gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just kind of move it by these little increments to make it look good. And I think that looks about good there. I might raise this one a little bit too. That's looking about good. And I might actually just drag both of these under the render too, so that that sword kind of goes above it um, that's on the render here. So we've got our name kind of here already, how we want it. It's already looking pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead, if we look back at the actual one, you're gonna see it says content creator right here. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna go to the text tool. We're gonna click somewhere else again. We're gonna click add. And again, I'm just gonna make sure I'm selected on the font that I wanna use. We're using Stretch Pro right here, which again, I will include in the Google Drive for you guys here. We're gonna click randomly and then we're gonna click add and we are gonna type content. Now, obviously you guys could put streamer, uh, Twitch streamer, put whatever you want, whatever you you know wanna focus on you know for the future. Um, we're gonna do content. Oh my God, I butchered that word, didn't I? I definitely did. And then we're gonna drag it down a little bit here. And we're gonna make the size of this one a lot smaller. And again, you kind of need to be selected on that font tool in order to drag the size down a bit. That looks about good there. And we're actually gonna make this fill and we're gonna go to white for this. And now you guys can see it's very hard to see with white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to styles and we're gonna go to shadow and we're gonna click shadow. And then you guys can just kind of drag the opacity up a little bit and you guys can see it makes it pop a bit more so it looks perfect here and that actually actually looks really good and i think that's how we want it here so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this content and we're going to right click on it and we're actually going to i don't know if it lets me duplicate it from here um i don't know if it does so we're just going to go to edit copy edit paste and as you guys can see now we have two of those same exact layers um, i'm just going to take the top one here and type in creator if i can stop butchering the spelling of these words 
Um, and then in creator, we're going to go back to the text tool again, and we're actually going to, um, okay, I guess I moved that one. Um, we're going to take the other one actually here and we're going to type in, okay, this is not how I wanted it to be. This one wants to be content. There we go. And then we're going to lock the first one. So we don't move that one. We're we'll typing creator for the second one. And as you guys can see, they're both um, white. So we're gonna take the second one here and I'm gonna go to fill and I'm just gonna kind of go to a blue here that I like. This blue actually looks really good actually. And then we're gonna click away. And as you guys can see, we have our content creator here. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take the top one. I'm gonna right click on it. And I'm gonna click on this little guy right here and it says merge down. So it made both of them basically the same layer. So then I can kind of, you know, click on the top one here that I want to move and we are going to unlock that so we can move it, click on the move tool. And then I'm just going to use my, um, you know, arrows on my keyboard to kind of slowly move it over here to make it look just a bit nicer and kind of match up with the text above. And as you guys can see, it already looks pretty good, our text here and how we want it. So now we're pretty much done. Um, I will include some extra butterfly PNGs if you guys just want to add them, you know, yourself to make it a little bit unique by going to layer, add image as layer, and just adding the transparent butterfly PNGs that I add in the Google Drive for you guys. So now that you're done with your YouTube banner, all you guys got to do is go to file, export. You guys can quick export it as, an, as a PNG if you guys don't want to mess anything. I kind of recommend going to file save and then just going on jpg or png it honestly doesn't really matter um, we're just gonna do png for simplicity purposes um, it can be transparent or it can't be it doesn't matter we don't have anything transparent either in this um, so you know again it just really doesn't matter um, we're gonna click save as and then we're gonna go to desktop name it whatever i want youtube banner official version and then we're gonna go to save then as you guys go to your desktop, you guys are going to see it'll pop up in a couple seconds here. I don't know why it takes a little bit, but it's fairly quick. Um, then as you guys can see, we have our banner here. It looks really good. And as you guys can see, everything is kind of in the minimum in mobile section. So even if you would look at this on a phone, um, you would see, you know, the name, you know, what your channel is about and kind of everything in it, which is literally perfect. And once you guys, you know, go to YouTube and go to upload this, um, I can give you guys maybe a little bit of a brief example here. All right, so then I just double click this guy here. And as you guys can see, just like I said, it automatically formats it um, like perfectly. And then you literally just have to click done. And you guys are totally fine here. Now, if we go back to Pixlr here, I'm actually gonna open a new tab. I'm gonna briefly show you guys how to do it um, for your YouTube header very easily. Um, you guys don't have to redo everything. You can kind of just um, paste it over. Um, so all we need to do is kind of open up another tab of Pixlr. I'd recommend just keeping the old one open here. You're gonna to need it um, so we're gonna go into here we're gonna click open image and if you guys go to that folder you downloaded in the description there's gonna be the Twitter header template as well um, for this one you just need to double click this you don't need any other you know template as well you just need this so we're gonna go ahead and double click it as you guys can see here it's a header version I made for you guys so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the old one here and I'm gonna click on the render here and I'm just gonna go to select select pixels and then as you guys can see it just selects the whole render here I'm going to go to edit, I'm going to go to copy, and I'm going to go back to the original one here, and I can either hit control V for paste, or I can go to edit, and I can go to paste, and then as you guys can see here, it kind of just tosses the render in automatically, um, you just kind of need to size it a little bit, um, you might have to do that for a couple of the other items, but other than that, it does kind of just paste in there, which is really nice, um, and it keeps kind of the contrast and color stuff that you added to the render as well, which is also a nice touch, saves you a lot of time here, and you're going to go back and do kind of the same thing, so we're going to go to select, deselect select so we don't you know keep the pixel pixels that we just selected and we're gonna go back and I'm gonna actually take the text here and I'm gonna merge down and then I'm gonna take the render put it above and I'm gonna hit the text here and I'm gonna click merge down and then I'm gonna take you know all the text that I have merged I'm gonna go to select select pixels I'm gonna go to edit copy I'm gonna go back to the old one go to edit paste and then as you guys can see it pasted right in for us here we're gonna drag it where we want it to be I'm gonna drag it underneath the render and then bada bing, bada boom, we have our text here. Now, obviously you guys can, you know, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you think would look better on the Twitter header. And then what we're gonna do is do the same thing. Again, I'm just gonna show you guys briefly, um, you know, for some of the other stuff here. You know, actually I think we got everything. So it looks like we're good here. Again, you can add whatever, change however you want. We're gonna go to file, save, and then we are just gonna go to PNG like the one previously. We're gonna click save as, I'm gonna name it um, Twitter header. If I can type, oh my goodness, Twitter header, 
Um, we're just gonna name it official. I have so many, I don't even know what to name them anymore. Um, we're gonna go to desktop. We're gonna make sure it's clicked on desktop or wherever you guys wanna save it, obviously, and click save. And then if we go here, you guys are gonna see it'll pop up in a second. And we have our matching Twitter header here. And then we also have our YouTube banner as well for you guys. Obviously custom to your guys' name and whatever you guys want to say. If you guys like this video, I would appreciate it. If you guys could, again, just leave a comment, uh, share it with someone. I really appreciate the recent support. Again, I appreciate you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. It really means a lot. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace.